I created a proposal based on the problems you were having and your demands, Mr. Ishida. My name is Rihito Endo, and I'm 25 years old. I'm a system engineer at the Nanakumo Corporation. Basically, utilizing this software can increase future work efficiency by 20%. Yes, wonderful! Please proceed with this proposal. Thank you so much. It's already past lunchtime. If you don't have any other plans, would you like to have lunch together? I'll take up your offer, please. I chose to be a system engineer because I've always had a shy personality, and I didn't like to talk to people much. However, I painfully realized that my communication levels needed to improve in order to interact with clients and outsource. I had a hard time with that when I first started my job, but I finally learned how to normally interact with people for work recently. I'm sorry I got ahead of myself at that izakaya and got too drunk. Oh no, in fact, it made me feel less nervous. So it was good. Our employees are saying that work has been easier ever since we started doing business with you, Endo-kun. People are praising me too. I'm beaming with pride. Not at all. That's all because of your talent, Mr. Ishida. It must be very reassuring for your superiors to have a talented worker like you. Not at all. You can do your job well and are very responsible. You must be very popular with the ladies. Not popular at all. In fact, I've never even been in a relationship. What? Is that so? Yes. I went to an all-boys high school and did STEM in college. I've gotten used to talking to females at work, but I don't know how to talk to them in my private life. I see. In that case, will you have an arranged meeting with my daughter? What? An arranged meeting? My daughter's 35 years old, but just like you, Endo-kun, she's never been in a relationship. She works online, so she's always home and doesn't show interest in makeup or fashion. I'm worried about her. Uh, but... It's not that I'm against older women, but I don't even know what I should talk about with someone 10 years older than me. Plus, being alone with a woman I don't know makes me crazily nervous. I say arranged meeting, but you don't need to be so uptight about it. I just want you to meet and talk to her a bit. Oh, uh... You'll meet her, won't you? Yes. Thank you, Endo-kun. Thank you! Uh, I couldn't say no. I'm really bad at saying no to people. On the day of the arranged meeting... I'm having the arranged meeting today. I'm thankful that Mr. Ishida isn't coming. But being alone with his daughter is going to be strange. I have to turn her down politely, so I don't put her in a mood. I'm glad this is our meeting spot. If we met at a traditional Japanese restaurant or hotel lounge, I'd probably be so nervous that I wouldn't talk. I was actually a regular customer at this book cafe. I come here after work or on my days off. Sitting with a book in one hand and a coffee in the other was one of those moments in my life where I felt genuine happiness. Welcome! The original blend, please. I still have a lot of time, so maybe I'll read a book while waiting. What should I read? This book cafe has a collection of almost 20,000 books and is irresistible for any book lover. I read ebooks sometimes, but there's something incomparably special about the smell of a paperback or the sensation of turning a page. Besides, I feel like I can immerse myself in the world of a story more when I read a real book. Is that just me? Here's your original blend coffee. Thank you so much. Ah, I'm so happy. I secretly had one other reason I looked forward to coming here. She's not here today? That's unfortunate. It was a routine for me to look for Yuki no Shida-san whenever I come here. Our meeting, well, the day I realized her presence happened almost two years ago. Whoa! I didn't realize there was a book cafe in this back street. I wonder how it is inside. Wow, this is amazing! The doors opened with an old-fashioned sound. Inside were shelves upon shelves of books that reached as high as the ceiling. The smell of wood, paper, and coffee filled my nose. My mood became better instantly. Welcome! Is this your first time here? Yes! Please, take a seat anywhere you'd like. Let us know whenever you're ready to order. Thank you so much. 
After ordering a coffee, I immediately headed towards the bookshelves. There were many books, but the amount of literary novels was insane. They had everything from popular novels to underground ones to hard to find ones. I couldn't hold back my excitement. Wow, I want to live here. I'm definitely going to start coming here more from now on. After that, I started going to the book cafe two to three times a week. That person was here last time too. This place must have a lot of regulars. It'd probably be so fun to get close to the staff and regular customers and talk to them about literature. Yet, I didn't have the courage to start a conversation with anyone. One day... Huh? The book I was planning to read today isn't here! I didn't think anyone would take it since it's the first novel of a not-so-famous author. This was a book I read in my middle school after borrowing it from the library. I was so moved that I can remember the book vividly. I've always wanted to read it again, but haven't come across it until now. Is someone reading it? It's her! The woman reading the book I wanted to read was a regular customer I saw often. I remembered her not only because she always came here alone and sat in the same place, but because she was coincidentally reading a novel by an author I liked. That lady and I have such similar interests. Man, if only I could have a heartfelt discussion about that novel with her. Despite thinking things like that, all I could do was stare. At that moment, a tear silently fell from the woman's eyes. She took out a handkerchief from her purse and wiped away her tears. She's so pretty. With long black hair, makeupless skin, and glasses, she seemed like the quiet type. Yet the way she shed tears from being emotionally moved by the novel struck my heart. She's like a Yuki no Shida. A Yuki no Shida is a plain plant that grows in the shade and hedges, but blooms a single white flower. From that day on, I silently referred to her as Yuki no Shida-san and looked forward to searching for her each time I came to the book cafe. Uh, why are you looking for Yuki no Shida-san, dude? You're supposed to be having an arranged meeting today! I didn't even have the guts to talk to Yuki no Shida-san, so I'm probably going to be terrible when I meet this woman! I'm going to live my entire life without having a girlfriend! I'm starting to feel miserable after thinking about that. I'm gonna read a book and relax or something. God, the way this author phrases her words is so unique. I love it! The setting is strange because it's an in-between of reality and unordinary life. Uh, what? Shoot! The time! I had gotten so completely immersed in the world of the novel that I had lost track of time! Huh? I didn't know when, but a beautiful girl had sat directly in front of me. She had clear features and had her calm brown hair curled nicely. She wore a pretty spring-colored knit sweater that showed off her physical features because it was tight. You're... joking! I wasn't just surprised because there was suddenly a woman sitting in front of me. Y Yuki no Shida-san? This, in fact, was the Yuki no Shida-san that I frequently searched for at this cafe! Um, my name is Yuko. Yuko Ishida. Right! Yuki no Shida-san was the nickname I gave to her, so it's not her real- Wait! What?! The woman from the arranged meeting?! Mr. Ishida had told me that his daughter's name was Yuko-san! Who would have thought that his daughter was Yuki no Shida-san?! You're joking! Excuse me, I'm sorry, but could you please speak a little more quietly? No, uh, I'm sorry. Um, should we go somewhere else? We probably should. Um, I'm always thankful for Mr. Ishida and his help. I'd like to thank you too. My father says that you're a very talented, responsible, and trustworthy man, Indosan. <laughs> Not at all. What do I do? I know who Yuki Toshida san, I, I mean Ishida san, is, but Ishida san probably doesn't recognize me. I, uh, I should start from there. Ishida san, do you go to that book cafe often? That's where I say, actually, me too, and start the conversation from there. No, it was my first time. What? Her appearance is different than usual, but she's definitely Yuki no Shida san, right? Huh? Or is she her doppelganger? There's no way, right? I see, well... I'm actually a regular customer at that book cafe. 
I thought I saw someone who looked just like you there before. No, that's not possible. It was my first time going there today. Uh, I see. Uh, that's a problem. I don't have anything to talk about if that's the case. Um, I'm ten years older than you. Is that okay? Oh, right! I remember now. Yes, uh... You don't look like you're ten years older than me, Ishida-san. Thank you. Huh? Does this mean that she's thinking positively about this arranged meeting? What are your hobbies, Ishida-san? I enjoy reading literature, but... Uh, I like yoga and aromatherapy. Ah, uh, I see. Our conversation never became exciting, and time simply passed us by. Uh, alright. Shall we head out soon? She'll probably turn me down before I even get the chance to do so. She can probably find a lot of men since she's so beautiful. Um... Yes? If you're okay with it, will you see me again? Um, next week. I'd love it if I could see you again next week. Oh, okay. I instinctively agreed. But is Ishida-san even having fun with me? I really thought Ishida-san was Yukino Shida-san. Endo-san, you have a call on line one. It's Mr. Ishida from Mikami Manufacturing. Thanks. Hello? This is Endo speaking. Man, Endo-kun. Thank you for seeing my daughter on Sunday. My girl said you were a wonderful man, and she was super enthusiastic about our relationship. Man, I'm so glad. What? Our conversation wasn't that exciting, and she didn't seem like she was having that much fun, though. Please, continue to take good care of my daughter. I'm excited to hear news about the wedding, too. Wait! He hung up. If Yukino Shida-san is at the book cafe today, I'll try to remember Ishida-san from yesterday and compare them. I should be able to tell if we're actually complete strangers that way. There she is. She's so focused on her book, I stared and observed Yukino Shida-san. Even if her initial appearance and clothing were different from Ichida-san's, I couldn't help but think that they were the same person. I guess... I have to talk to her now. Yuko Ichida-san? Uh, yes? Uh. I'm sorry for surprising you, but you really are Ichida-san, aren't you? Why did you lie and say that it was your first time coming here yesterday? Uh, that's... I didn't want you to know that I'm a regular customer here. What? Why? <sighs> I didn't think you'd want to spend time with a plain old lady who's ten years older than you. That's why I put a lot of effort into my makeup and outfit on the day of our arranged meeting. I knew that you were a regular here since the beginning, Ishida-san. What? You did? But how did you know that I was the same person as the person you met during the arranged meeting? I don't normally stand out. That's... It's because I was always searching for you whenever I came here. For me? It all started because you were reading a book I wanted to read. The books you always read are really similar to the ones I like reading. I always wanted to try talking to you. Me too. You're always there whenever I get up to choose a book. I was so happy to see you pick up a novel from an author that I like. I started being curious about you after that, Indo-san. Do you remember how I called you Yuki no Shida-san when I first met you? Yes, I do. That's the nickname I gave you before I knew who you were, Ishida-san. I thought you were like a beautiful flower that blooms where no one is watching. That's... I always thought that no one would fall in love with someone who looks like me. My heart was always drawn to you, Yuki no Shida-san. I was dreaming about a day where we could have a conversation about literature. But I... I'm sorry for trying to deceive you, Endo-san. I didn't have confidence in myself, so I wanted to make you fall for me somehow. You were very captivating during the arranged meeting. But you're just as charming now, Ishida-san. Excuse me. I'm so sorry, but could you please talk a little more quietly? Oh, I apologize. Ugh, I did it again. Uh, shall we head out? Yeah. I'd like to ask properly. Will you be in a relationship with me? Yes, I'd love to. Um, if you still have time, would you like to go to a normal cafe? I'd love to talk about books with you. Yes, I would love that. 
By the way, how did you find out that your father and I were doing business together? Do you remember when we went to the izakaya with my father? He got super drunk and took a picture with you. Oh, I do. I apologize for the trouble my father caused that day. Not at all. It helped me be less nervous, so I was glad. After my father came home that day, he was in such a good mood that he showed me those pictures while he raved about how amazing you are. I was so surprised that it was you, Ori-kun. Ori-kun? <gasps> you always order original blend coffee, so I secretly nicknamed you Ori-kun. I'm sorry. Is that so? Wow, that makes me blush a little. Me too. I didn't know that you were calling me Yuki no san It makes me blush a little. Uh, the truth is, it wasn't the way you were reading. I was drawn to the way you were emotional about the books you were reading. That's why I nicknamed you Yuki no san What? After you saw me crying? God, I'm even more embarrassed. Don't be. I thought you were very cute and beautiful. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. It's my honest opinion. Endo-san, you were lying when you said you're not comfortable speaking to females. You're giving me so many butterflies. Me too. My heart is beating so fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall we go to the cafe then? We should. I'm so happy I gathered the courage to ask my father for this arranged meeting. Me too. I'm glad I agreed to see you. I never would have imagined that I would be able to have an arranged meeting with the woman I was attracted to at the book cafe. I didn't like females and thought it was impossible to talk one-on-one -on -one with one. But I have a feeling I could talk all night if it's with Yuko-san. Age doesn't matter. I'm honestly so blessed to have met this wonderful partner of mine.